Um, I'm gonna do a little review. Um, we have, we're, we're in a Subaru Ascent right now, which is pretty standard size for an SUV these days. Um, it is the, the largest in the Subaru family. Um, it's a 2021. And I'm gonna be reviewing these, they're from a company called Qualizzi, Qualizzi. Sounds very Italian, but it's like everything is these days. We'd be doing made in the USA if that were an option. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, these are screens that go on the windows here so that you can wind down all your windows so you don't have to have your AC running if there's a nice breeze or whatever. And then you're also not going to get the bees and wasps and flies and gnats and mosquitoes coming in your car. And it would also be a pretty neat way. Um, I mean, it, this vehicle is definitely not optimized for sleeping in, but uh, it can be done definitely with one person, maybe with two. Um, so anyway, I'm going to set these up uh, either right here or maybe in an adjacent parking lot. I guess I'll go ahead and try and do it here. Um, and uh, I'm going to let you know what I think of them. There are two sets, one for the rear windows and one for the passenger, uh, sorry, the, you know, the passenger and driver in the front. Um, and then they also recommend that you buy these magnets to secure them in place on the outside of the vehicle because they're just kind of flimsy. Otherwise, uh, these are called Smart Take. It's a 45 piece set, also made in China. Um, again, <laughs> if there were a made in America option available, and yeah, I know I'm in a Japanese car, that's not made in America. Um, well, we've had really good luck with Subarus. I'm uh, officially a Subaru lesbian and what are you gonna do about it? Anyway, um, let's check out these these screens, see how they work out. And I will show you from inside and outside. Uh, so basically the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wind down all the windows and then we're going to put the screens on and then we're gonna attach the magnets. So let's go ahead and I forget how to put this into, yeah, we don't wanna start it. We just want to be able to access the electronics. Ah, oh, there we go. You have to press the start button twice without having your foot on the brake. Okay, so all of the windows are down. And there we go. Now the electronic thingy is off. And I'm not sure which one of these packages is for the front and which one's for the back. That may be trial and error right now. See, they look like this. They have like a, you know, one side is open where you can shove the, the frame of your window into the net. And I love, see, Qualizzi Motors. They spelled the word motors wrong. They added an extra T. <laughs> That's awesome. That's uh Great Chinese production for you. So we got the first one on here. This one is for the front. It's like kind of pulling a stocking over a leg. I'm gonna yank it down here. And then we're gonna secure it in place with the magnets. See if that works. Okay, we've got our magnets on. As you can see, they are very powerful magnets holding the screen in place. It doesn't quite come down all the way on the inside but that's not really going to matter because we've got one layer of screen and then the window is totally open so that's pretty cool and i'm going to do it for the other three doors now so i've got the screens on you can see them here show you the other side some of them are a little bit better fitted than others i used about four or five magnets per window. They're very powerful magnets. You could probably get away with just two, maybe three. I think a couple of bugs got into the car while I was putting them on, unfortunately. Let's see. Let's see. Got Unfortunately, right now, there's not much of a breeze. 
So, I mean, it's definitely better than sitting in a car with the windows up, obviously, on a hot summer day. Uh, they are black, so they kind of suck up the heat. Um, I guess you could have tried to make them white or something so they were more reflective. But as it is, uh, you know, we've got a slight breeze going on, a slight cross breeze, which is better than nothing, better than having the windows up. And of course, if you're gonna be sitting in your car a long time, maybe you're gonna eat lunch, uh, maybe you're maybe you're gonna sleep in your car, uh, maybe you're a you know, full-time car dweller. Uh, that's becoming more and more common in this economy. And also, I mean, <laughs> you know, if you got the money, you can just drive all over the country, see the whole country, sleep in your car. There are people who, who do that. There are people who, um, on uh, cheap RV living, I mean, there have been people who trick out uh, Priuses and they turn them into campers with like a full on bed. And then they have the whole other half of the vehicle for storage. Um, so, you know, you're gonna have to find some way to open your windows in, when the sun's out, if you're going to be sleeping in, in the day or sleeping in late into the late morning, uh, you're going to need some way to ventilate your vehicle. So this is a pretty decent way. I think we paid $40 for all four screens. They came in sets of two sets of two, one set for the front windows and one set for the rear windows. And of course, I'm sure there's some way to put a screen over the, uh, the lift gate in the back, or if you have like a hatchback, I'm sure there's some way to just put like a big mesh, you know, part of a tent, or um, I'm sure you can just order some kind of screen and fit it yourself. Um, that would definitely improve the circulation in here. Uh, but as it is right now, yeah, it's it's doable. I am sitting like in the sunshine. So if I were, if I were sitting on the other side of the vehicle, it would be significantly cooler. Um, what else do I have to say? The magnets, they weren't expensive. I forget what we paid. I'll put it down uh, either in the video or in the description. I'll put a link to this. These were, uh, I think, what I, what I say, 45 pieces, 45 little magnets. So in case you lose a few, it's not a big deal. It was a few bucks. It wasn't expensive at all. So, you know, for the whole setup, we're looking at less than 45 bucks. So, and that's for an SUV. I'm sure the ones for just regular sedans and sports cars are probably a little cheaper. Um, so yeah, let me show you what it looks like from the inside. A little uneven. The back was easier to put on than the front ones. Anyway, not a bad deal. Still pretty toasty in here. Um, it's September. It's about, I want to say 80 degrees outside. It's full sun. There's not really any clouds um, buffering anything. So, uh, now I'm going to get sunburned. I guess the, the glass is tempered a little bit. So, <laughs> um, well, there you have it, folks. The Belize Mo Motors, Motors with two T's. XL um, screens for your SUV windows. Um, I mean, this is just like, you know, gut instinct right off the bat. Considering the price um, and, and what they're doing right now, uh, you know, I'd give this maybe a seven out of 10 stars uh, in terms of scoring. Um, yeah, that, it would probably be ideal if they made a specific set for each individual SUV so they could measure it perfectly so it fits on. You wouldn't even need the magnets. Um, but as it is, yeah, it's pretty toasty in here, in the car. It's it's not really ventilating super well, but then again, this is one of the rare days in South Dakota where we have very little wind. Um, <laughs> and then when you, when you do want the wind, it's not there, and when you don't want the wind, there's 30 mile an hour wind pummeling everything knocking you over when you try to take a walk or if it's you know like 20 degrees outside you walk outside there's 30 mile an hour winds and it feels like it's negative 10 or something like that anyway it's pretty toasty i'm gonna pack it up and be on my merry way there's some uh 
They're like paddle boarders out on the lake. That's cool. I'll see if I can get a shot of them. And then I think then we will call it for the day. Review of Qualitzi Motors XL and dang it, what were those magnets called? What did I say they were called? Um, I should also mention they don't want you driving down the road with these things in place. I mean, you can, um, but they're gonna like billow in the wind and then depending on where you are, you could actually get pulled over and, and sighted because it, um, it obscures your vision. We already have tinted windows on the sides, so this may count as extra tinting, like beyond, whoa, there's bugs, um, beyond the legal, uh, what you're allowed to have in terms of tinting. So uh, check your local laws, and you know, other than that, just go ahead and take them down while you're driving. So this is more for like a, a long-term parking situation, like you're gonna eat lunch or take a nap or something like that. One other thing I should mention in closing is the magnets on the sun side, when I took them off, they were almost too hot to touch. They were so hot because these are black magnets sitting on the outside of a dark vehicle getting full sun. Really, really hot. So just <laughs> either wear gloves or, uh, you know, maybe you have higher tolerance than I do. But uh, yeah, really crazy, like painful hot to touch. Anyway, there you have it. About Let's see if we can find those paddle boards. This is McRaj signing off. Adios until next time. Take care, everybody.